Hi guys, welcome to this video about what the problem is when you get a message not enough USB controller resources and why this is uh, more and more the case that you get this message and how you can get rid of this problem. So, um, yeah, hope you can understand me. I've moved a little bit my microphone around. So, uh, let's start here. Not enough USB controller resources. It's a little bit um yeah not not so clear for a lot of people it was not clear for me it was it's it's it seems not to be clear for other people so people are in doubt if resources means power or something else like or something which has to do with logic and programming and so and I've been googling for some time and uh, there were people telling this other people telling the other way round and so I first thought um, yeah it's definitely I thought it, it, it's a problem with power so means uh, yeah there's a certain amount of power provided uh, by USB so you have 5 volts and you have I guess I don't know from uh, it depends on, on, on the PC uh, you have 1 amp maybe 2 amps and that has to be divided by all the uh, equipment you have connected to your USB or USB hub or whatever and when there's not enough power then there's a problem obviously but will you get this message I mean that would mean uh, more power would mean that you uh, need a um, hub like an USB hub with an external power supply this is what uh, a lot of people are suggesting Su suggesting blah, blah. should be a different <laughs> word uh, yeah like the, something with is this power supply power supply here you can sometimes buy this additional when you have already a USB hub can buy power supply after that and that uh, should solve the problem does it really no it seems it does not so why is it not helping it's not a power problem it's a logical problem and why this happens and why this happens more and more here we have the solution I found this uh, somebody explained it really nicely he did a lot of research and obviously this is the problem with USB 3.0 which we have more and more I mean it started with USB 1 nobody has USB 1 then we had USB 2.0 so a lot of uh, computers still have USB 2.0 and a lot of cheap USB hubs are 2.0 but computers themselves lot of the I mean 90% of the uh, computers which you buy they have USB 3.0 and they have only 96 endpoints per controller available so that uh, the question is how many controllers do you have do you have uh, you, you can't see that I mean the controller is a thing on the motherboard you, 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 uh, as long as you don't open your computer you don't you have no idea if you have one controller or two or three or, or, or how many maybe you have just one and then even when you have three USB plugs can be that you have just one controller you usually you don't know how many you have maybe if you buy your next computer you should investigate how many controllers you have then the second problem is that uh, each three USB 3.0 port on your PC is limited to 16 endpoints but of uh, course it's 16 in and 16 out so it's a total of 32 but they have to share these 96 uh, endpoints per controller so it doesn't help if you have a lot of uh, ports around your computer and only one controller doesn't help and you have to um, be aware of that a lot of uh, equipment uh, a lot of accessories you have on your computer are using in and out 
ports so uh, sometimes it does not uh, yeah so it, it's not like 32 devices it's not even 16 devices because a lot of sensors or a lot of equipment use more than one uh, endpoint so here it says that um, a hub might use two to four and uh, like a Oculus Rift sensor uses seven in and I don't know how many out but uh, yeah a lot of our headsets they use up to seven uh, endpoints and so on and, and then with such complicated or yeah uh, or multifunctional uh, equipment you use up a lot of endpoints really fast so that's a problem and why is USB 3.0 a problem because it, the two USB 2.0 the old the old thing uh, had much more I think it's it doubled the uh, uh, um, uh, it, it had double amount of endpoints so yeah uh, that's the thing what you have so uh, yeah this guy is also complaining about why people upgrade compute I mean you the USB system from 2.0 to 3.0 and cut the amount of endpoints in half uh, people are having more and more equipment on USB and they are cutting the amount of endpoints in half that's really dumb and this this person is also saying this this is uh, was definitely not a good idea so what options do you have now we come to the options which you have um, of course uh, I mean there are basically three options which come to my mind and one thing is here described here disabling uh, this thing is called XHCI in the BIOS I don't know if everybody has this option you can force the ports to, to USB 2.0 mode and then you will have the double amount of endpoints like uh, 192 or something like that if I'm not wrong so uh, but it doesn't change the 16 endpoints per port um, anyway so there's still a limitation uh, what other options you have is you switch some equipment to wireless let's say a lot of people are connecting their phones I mean they are charging their phones with USB even when they don't use the USB as connection uh, because they are anyway synced wirelessly uh, usually you have the cloud they are synced by wireless and so USB is only needed to charge and when you connect it uh, with a computer it uses one or two or three or I, I don't know how many maybe a lot of uh, endpoints so you can use a standalone charging cradle or a wireless charger or whatever which doesn't use the um, endpoints of a computer or you can uh, switch to other devices like if you have a, a headset you can switch to wireless headset there are uh, nice wireless headsets around so here we have some nice options from Amazon I will put down the link to this list of wireless headsets um, usually they work with Bluetooth most say Bluetooth Bluetooth uh, that's a good thing you have to be aware of two things when you use Bluetooth headsets on your computer first thing is you might have some delays mean uh, small lags I can't tell you how much it is one hundredth of a second or one twentieth of a second I don't know some people say they can feel it some some people say they can't feel it if you're a pro gamer it's maybe not a good advice to use a wireless headset um, yeah because of the delay 
the second problem is or could be that when you want to use this device for uh, talking as well not only listening then you probably uh, can't only blue, uh, Bluetooth but especially if you want to have good quality you have to plug something in usually uh, higher quality devices they come with Bluetooth and a dongle so you connect by Bluetooth and then you also have to plug in a dongle which uses again endpoints and that doesn't solve this issue so there are nice uh, headsets here I'm going to buy one too and I will try and test and see also for gaming see how it works what I what what, what what's definitely important that you buy uh, good quality and not cheap if you buy something for $32 mm, yeah it could be that it's not the best thing even when it has comes with some good um, reviews they could be paid especially when there are not not uh, a lot of them uh, you have to be careful but it, it, it can work especially when, when you buy something for 100 200 dollars so it, it, it can work but you have to be really careful that it doesn't require uh, an, an, another dongle so I mean there is also other equipment like wireless mouse wireless keyboard wireless uh, and so on and so on but you always have to be careful I mean wireless sometimes needs a dongle sometimes it gets some lags sometimes but sometimes you can really work with Bluetooth especially when you don't require uh, when, when you're not a pro gamer so you can probably use uh, Bluetooth mouse Bluetooth keyboard and a couple of other devices maybe Bluetooth headset that can um, give you some relief of this problem and another thing is which is a good good option and I'm using this too there are USB hubs which you can disable where you can disable single port so here something like this or even cheaper ones I'm not I, I uh, I mean usually people say you have to buy good quality otherwise you will be in trouble mm, I haven't experienced that too much but of course when you buy too cheap it can be a problem uh, here I mean probably uh, there's a 10 thing uh, USB 3.0 which is good and with single switches and $36 that's probably a good option it has very good reviews but I'm using such a thing but with external power especially when you use a cheap thing then you have to use external power but this this thing really works for me and I have some equipment uh, disabled most of the time like a fan like I have uh, a light I have uh, um, yeah I have uh, a lot of equipment I have a, a webcam I have many many things and so I can disable them as long as I don't need them especially uh, webcam is a really good thing to have it on a switch so it's also a security thing when you have your webcam on a with, with a switch you can turn it off when you don't use it so nobody can access the camera and streaming what uh, yeah like uh, you and you don't notice uh, that you are on, on a live stream or whatever um, so that's also a good thing so I really can recommend this thing and but you have to be uh, aware of the power supply like especially when people think uh, here with the other list uh, USB devices with power supply some people think they can solve the issue just by providing a power supply because it doesn't have uh, enough power that that, <laughs> that makes the problem actually even worse because the power supply itself it's using up uh, endpoints yes it's using up endpoints so it makes the problem even worse that's a crazy crazy thing so you have to be careful so uh, my my recommendations are actually um, switch to 
some wireless devices, especially Bluetooth devices, and install switchable hubs. These are my most important recommendations and so I hope I have been able to help you a little bit with that. If you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below. I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.